The first herb that I'm going to dry is mint. I have a little pot of mint that's been growing like crazy, so I harvested a few stems to dry for tea. I just went in with some scissors and cut near the base of the stems. I made sure to leave a few inches on each. Next, I harvested some sage. My plant has been growing pretty out of control, so I normally will harvest whole branches at a time to try and control the size. I go in again with my scissors and cut near the base of each branch. I harvested some oregano next. It's right next to the sage and growing out of control as well. I have some dill, cilantro, and lemon balm growing around it, so I went and harvested whole stems around that area to make space. The last herb I'm going to dry is dill. This is actually my first year growing dill. I don't particularly like it as an herb, but I'm planning to pickle some cucumbers with it this year. I went in and harvested a few sprigs from each plant. The plants are still pretty small, so I only got a little this time. The first thing I do when I bring them inside is wash them well. I want to make sure to remove the bits of dirt and bugs that might be hiding in the leaves. Once I give them a good rinse, I soak each herb in water for 15 minutes just to make sure they're clean. Once they're done soaking, I dab the herbs mostly dry and lay them to finish drying on a clean towel. I'm going to follow the same process of washing, soaking, and drying the herbs one by one until I'm done. At this stage, I'm also going to remove any leaves that are damaged or browning. I left all the herbs out to dry for a few hours. I think it was about two to three in total. The first method I used to dry my herbs was dehydrating. I have a basic food dehydrator with six trays. I filled each tray with as many stems of oregano as I could without any of them overlapping. You can also remove each leaf before dehydrating, but it's a lot easier for me to just keep them on the stems. Once all the oregano was in, I placed on the lid and set it to dry at the herb setting on my dehydrator, which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. It took about a day to fully dry, but I made sure to check it every few hours. You'll know they're done once they crumble easily. I also dried some sage leaves in the dehydrator. I removed the leaves from the stems and placed them onto the trays just like before. They took about a day to dry as well. The second method I used to dry my herbs was hanging. For this method, I made sure to separate my herbs into small bunches. You don't want to bunch together too many because moisture might get trapped, causing the leaves to not dry properly or even mold. I used a needle and some cotton thread to tie the herb bundles together. I just poked the needle through the middle of the end of each stem and tied a loop. You want to make sure that the leaves will be hanging downwards. You can also just tie the thread around the ends of the herb stalks if you don't want to use a needle. I did this for the sage because the branches were too thick to pierce easily with the needles. You just want to make sure to secure it as well as you can. The stems can lose a lot of their size as they dry, so they might fall if they aren't secured well enough. I also tied the dill together since the stems were so small. Once all the herb bunches have been tied, I'm going to secure them to more thread that I'm going to use to hang them. I cut a length of thread that was a few feet long and tied it to each loop every 4 inches or so. You just want to make sure there's enough space between them that they won't be touching. The 
This is how they looked once it was all strung up. They'll dry best in a dry location that doesn't get a ton of light, but you want to make sure there's good airflow. You can leave the herbs uncovered if you know they'll be undisturbed, but I like to cover mine to protect them. You can use something like paper bags or mesh cloth. I have these reusable grocery bags that are made of mesh that work really well. They have ties that keep them secure to each bunch and they allow for a lot of airflow. These took about a week to dry. Just like the dehydrator method, you'll know they're done when they crack and crumble easily. I stored my dried herbs in glass jars. I'm storing the oregano separately from the dill, but for the sage and mint I decided to mix them together to use as an herbal tea mix. Dried herbs should be stored in an airtight container in a location that doesn't get a lot of light. I'm not sure exactly how long they last, but I always make sure to use my dried herbs within a year.